There are three things I really hate. Abusing children, abusing the elderly, and abusing animals. So I find it incredibly emotional when animals, even if they're fantastical dragons, are killed. Today we'll discuss Season 2, Episode 4 of HBO's House of the Dragon, exploring the deep bonds between the dragons and their riders, and the heartbreak we feel when these majestic creatures meet their end. Let's start with Aegon and his dragon, Sunfire. In this scene, we see Aegon, a bit tipsy, meeting with Sunfire. Sunfire nudges Aegon in the chest, and Aegon smiles and embraces his snout. This interaction shows the genuine affection between them. It's not just a rider and his mount, it's a bond of friendship and trust. This reminds me of how pet owners form strong bonds with their pets, feeling their emotions and responding to them. Next we have Rainies and Maylees. Here Rainies is preparing to fly off to battle and is resting her head on Maylees' side saying, we're off to battle again, old girl. This moment is touching because it shows the deep connection and mutual respect between them. It's like a knight with his trusty steed, ready to face danger together. Historically, horse riders have formed intense bonds with their horses, especially when riding into battle. After Aemon and Vagar blast both Maylees and Sunfire with Dragonfire, there's a moment where Maylees looks back to make eye contact with Rainies. To me, it felt like she was checking on Rainies, making sure she still wanted to fight. This moment is touching because it shows the dragon's loyalty and concern for its rider. In 331 BC, Alexander the Great fought the Battle of Gargamela against Darius III of Persia, a battle which saw the use of war elephants. These elephants were not just war machines, but were deeply bonded with their handlers. Accounts from historians like Arian describe how elephants would not leave the battlefield even when injured, showcasing their loyalty and emotional depth. Some soldiers observed that elephants showed signs of distress when their companions were killed, adding to the emotional atmosphere of the battlefield. Melee's ambush and subsequent choking by Vagar is one of the most gut-wrenching scenes. Seeing her tossed around like a chicken and hearing the dragon screeches in pain, it's hard not to feel empathy for these creatures. Roman spectators were known for their bloodthirsty entertainment, yet they drew the line at certain animals. Pliny the Elder, in his Natural History, records that when elephants were pitted against armed men, the elephants displayed signs of distress and implored the audience for mercy. The spectators, moved by the elephants' intelligence and emotional behavior, reportedly called for an end to the slaughter. This reaction demonstrates that even in a culture accustomed to brutal entertainment, the emotional responses of animals could evoke compassion and empathy. As the life drains from Maylees, she makes eye contact with Rainies as she fades away. This moment hit me hard and reminded me of when I had to put down my first dog due to old age and fluid in her lungs. The eye contact, the silent communication, and the bond you share in those final moments are unforgettable. It's heart-wrenching to see it depicted so vividly with Maylees and Rainies. Now let's talk about Maylees' explosion on impact after falling. This got me thinking about the biology of dragons. Why would they explode when falling to their death? Is it something in their physiology, like compressed gases or some kind of magical essence? It's a fascinating topic to speculate on, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Finally, we have a shot of Sunfire smoking. Is that smoke from his own explosion on falling, or from the remnants of the Dragonfire blasted onto him by Vagar? Let me know what you think. In conclusion, the animation of the dragons in House of the Dragon is so well done that it brings out deep emotions, not just between the writers and their dragons, but also in us as viewers. The bonds we see remind us of the connections we have with our pets and the pain of losing them, whether it's a dog, a horse, an elephant, or a dragon. The emotional impact is profound. If you enjoyed this commentary, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And remember, cherish the bonds you have with your pets and loved ones. Tomorrow is not promised. Thank you for watching. Slim Jones, out.